Onirum is a solitaire card game designed by Shadi Torbi and published by Z-Man Games in 2010. The second edition comes with seven expansions and a cooperative variant for two players. It's easy to learn and plays in about 15 minutes. The base game of Onirum contains 76 cards including 10 nightmare cards, 8 door cards, two of each color, and 58 location cards. The location cards come in four different colors, red, blue, green, and brown, and three different symbols, sun, moon, and key. Each color has three keys, four moons, and a variable number of suns. Red has the most suns, and brown has the least. In Onirum, you play cards from your hand of five cards in a row in an attempt to open the eight Oniric doors. Every time you play a card to the row, you draw another card. Once you get three cards of the same color in a row, then you unlock one of the doors of that color. Another way to unlock a door is if you draw it from the deck, you can discard the corresponding key card from your hand to immediately unlock it. You always draw back up to five cards at the end of a turn, and then you get to play another card. If you ever draw one of the nightmares in the deck, then you must immediately resolve it. You can do this by discarding a key card from your hand, discarding your whole hand instead, discarding one of your already unlocked doors back into the deck, or discarding the top five cards from the deck. If you run out of cards in your draw deck, then you immediately lose, but if you manage to unlock all eight doors before that happens, then you win the game. To set up the game, shuffle all the cards together to form a draw deck. The base game cards have no symbol in the bottom right corner, whereas the expansion cards show a symbol to indicate which expansion they belong to. Take your opening hand by drawing the top five cards. If you get any doors or nightmares, set them aside and keep drawing until you have a hand of five location cards. Like so. This pile of doors and nightmares is called the Limbo Pile. Throughout the game, you will set aside cards to the Limbo Pile, and then at the end of each turn, you shuffle the Limbo Pile back into the deck. Do that now, and you're ready to play. A turn is divided into three phases. First, you play a card or discard one. Second, you fill your hand. And third, you shuffle the Limbo Pile. First, let's look at playing a card. Take one location card from your hand and play it to the labyrinth in front of you. The first card has no restriction, but for the rest of the game you must follow the golden rule. The card played must be a different symbol than the last card played. So in this example, the next card can't be a sun, because it's the same symbol. It must be a moon or a key. If the card you played is the third in a row of the same color, then you unlock a door of that color. Look through the deck and put the door in front of you. Then shuffle the deck. Note that if you play a fourth card of the same color, it counts as the first card in a new set of three. You don't unlock another red door. Now instead of playing a card, you can choose to discard a card instead. Discarding means you are removing it from the game completely. If you discard a sun or moon, nothing special happens, but if you discard a key card, then you trigger a prophecy. A prophecy means you get to look at the top five cards from the deck. You must discard one of them, even a nightmare, and then put the other four cards back in any order you want. If you're at the end of the game and there are less than five cards in the deck, you can still look at all of them, discard one, and put the rest back. After you play or discard a card, then you fill your hand back up to five cards. Draw the cards one at a time and resolve them. If you draw a location card, then just add it to your hand. If you draw a door card, then you can unlock it immediately if you discard a key of the same color. Put the door in front of you and continue to fill your hand. If you don't have a key of the same color or don't want to use it, then put the door off to the side in the limbo pile. If you draw a nightmare, then you must immediately resolve it before continuing. There are four ways to resolve a nightmare. Number one is discarding a key from your hand. Number two is returning one of your unlocked doors to the limbo pile. Number three is discarding the top five cards from the draw deck. If you draw any nightmares or doors, they are put into the limbo pile instead. And number four is discarding your whole hand. Draw back up to five just like you started the game. Put any doors and nightmares into the limbo pile until you have a hand of five locations. Once the nightmare is resolved, discard it. It doesn't go to the limbo pile. It's removed from the game completely. I like to make a separate pile of nightmares so I can count later in the game how many are left. Continue to draw cards one at a time and resolve them until you have a hand of five locations. Once you have a full hand, then you shuffle all the doors and nightmares in the limbo pile back into the deck. 
Then start the next turn by playing or discarding a card and repeating until the end of the game. You lose the game if you need to draw a card and there are no cards left in the deck. However, if you unlock all eight doors before that happens, then you immediately win. You don't have to replenish your hand as soon as you place the eighth door in front of you, you win Onirum. Two players can play with only a slight change to the rules. At the beginning of the game, draw eight cards, setting aside doors and nightmares into the limbo pile until you have eight locations. Both players alternate turns, taking one card to use in their hand. Once you both have three cards in your hand, then the other two cards are left face up and can be used by either player as if it was in their hand. Now players will alternate taking turns but each player has their own labyrinth. So one player will be playing cards on the left side of the deck and the other player will be playing cards on the right side of the deck. You can play cards from your hand or from the shared pile. Instead of playing or discarding a card, you can also choose one card from your hand to swap out with one card from the shared pile. And that is your action for the turn. If you draw a nightmare and choose to discard your hand, then you must discard all three cards from your hand plus the two cards from the shared pile. When you redraw, you first draw three cards for your hand and then the two cards for the shared pile. The goal of the two player game is for each player to unlock one door of each color. This means you cannot unlock two doors of the same color. If you unlock all four of your doors before the other player, then keep playing and try to help the other player get all of their doors. If you manage to unlock all eight doors before the deck runs out, then you both win Onirum. All right, and that's how you play Onirum. This was the first solo game I bought and I instantly loved it. It plays super fast and something about the gameplay and shuffling just relaxes me. I've literally played hundreds of games and I still haven't gotten tired of it. The seven included expansions are fun and there's a couple that I really like, but I still default to playing just the base game. It's that good. I didn't think the two player game would be very fun, but we eventually tried it out and my wife really liked it. I thought it would be harder than the solo game because you each have to unlock a door of each color, but we actually win way more often than I do solo. The shared hand of cards really helps make the game easier. In conclusion, I think this is an excellent solo game and I highly recommend it. If you've never played a solo game but are interested in trying one out, this is the perfect place to start. The rules are simple and the game is cheap. There is also an app version now that's great if the shuffling annoys you, but like I said before, I find the shuffling very relaxing and enjoyable. So that's it for me. Let me know in the comments what you think of Onirum. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing for future videos. If you want to check out more of my videos, just click the links on the screen and maybe you'll find a new game to play. All right, guys, with that, Michael Skeleton is out.